In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass a variable, a copilot variable to Power Automate and retrieve back the response from Power Automate in a copilot variable. Now, this is on basis of uh, one of the video I posted a while back, uh, what are variables within Microsoft Copilot Studio. Uh, and one of the user uh, has uh, asked for a, a request for a video. It says, how do you access the Copilot variables from Power Automate when running a flow from Copilot? So the scenario is, <clears throat> I'll be creating a topic. So first, uh, I've already provisioned a bot. So I'll go into one of the bots. So this bot is called as Garish Cleaner Service. If I go into the topic, I'll add a topic and I'll say, I'll add a topic from blank. Now here, I will just use a simple weather topic. So I'll just say get weather is a topic name. And uh, in the phrases, I'll say, uh, get me weather or maybe weather please okay so i'll just put some sample uh, trigger phrases to trigger this topic just close this and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make use of a variable okay so i'll just say variable management set a variable value and i'll say select a variable i do not have any variable i'll say create new so this is a variable which i've created called as where one i'll call this as where uh, city so this is one of my local variable, okay, which I'm creating for this particular topic. So what it will do, it will basically send out a request to Power Automate. Now, <clears throat> the request currently, I'm going to hard code it. So I'll just type in my location. I'll call it as Brisbane, Australia. Okay, so this is the uh, variable value. Now, what? Thing what we need to do now is call Power Automate. Now, in order to call Power Automate, you need to click on call an action and then create a flow. Now, what this will do, this will try to create a Power Automate scaffolding for a uh, Copilot interface. So what it does, it has created when Copilot Studio calls a flow, return value to Power Virtual Agents. Okay. Now, I'll just click on done over here. Now there are multiple ways which through which you can call a flow. So if I click on call an action, I can even create a prompt. I can even select all the plugins which I've already created within my system. So there are multiple ways. Now from here, what I'll do is like as this scaffolding is created for me, I'll just click on plus, I'll click on add an action <coughs> and I will call a weather action. Now, MSN weather, I'll say get current weather and I'll use this get current weather action. Now, when a Copilot Studio calls a flow, it is passing you some parameters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an input. I'll click on text and here I will just call it as where city. Okay, and from get current weather, let me just save this value. From get current weather, I will change the units from imperial to metric. And from location, I will just select this dynamic component and I'll select where city. And then I need to return a value back. So I will just return one value. I'll call it as where temperature. And the temperature value will be, I'll be receiving it from the get current weather. So in get current weather, I'll just get the temperature. So I can select temperature, humidity conditions, whatever I want. I'll just select temperature, click on save draft. And publish this. Now coming back to Copilot Studio, here what we need to do is add a note, call an action, and then try to see whether your the flow which you have created has come up here or not under basic action. Now, the name of the flow which we have created is Power Virtual Agents Flow Template Published, right? So we need to change that. So we call it as uh, Get Weather. 
and I'll just say Power Automate and Copilot Studio PACPS. I'll just say publish. So now once you've published your flow, what you need to do is again come back to Copal Studio and try to hit the refresh button because sometimes the flow value does not get displayed. So if I click on add node over here and click on call an action, then I should be able to see get weather CPS PA. So this is the same flow which we have just created, get weather CPS PA. Now here it is showing me that power automate input where city it is expecting a where city from power automate where temp is the output which is being sent back by power automate so if you go into the flow you will see two variable input variable and output variable now this is the variable from power automate where city and this is the where temp is a output variable from power automate now we have already created where city variable in copilot studio so what we are going to do we are gonna just name this where city as maybe cps or copilot studio just to distinguish between the variables between copilot studio and power automate and i'll click on save now here we need to do some sort of a linking now we need to link the power automate variable with the copilot studio variable now here if you see this flow, we have a trigger component. We have created a variable value, set variable value, where city CP is belonging to the Copilot Studio variable. Now here, Power Automate is asking for an input, where city. Now here, what we are going to do, we are going to select a variable, but this time we are going to select a custom variable from Copilot Studio. So this is where the actual linking happens from a Copilot Studio variable to a Power Automate variable. Once you do that, this is all done. Now we are going to get the temperature in this where temp variable. So we need to display this to user. So for that, we'll just click on send a message and I'll say the temperature for the city, which we have selected. So let me put it in bold. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert a variable and I'll call it as where city BPS, okay? And this one, where city BPS, is the one which we are going to pass so is the output where temp where temp so like this what we have done we have formulated a response for the end user so in a nutshell what's happening we are just passing on the city to power automate so power automate is going to pick up the city and then try to extract the current weather and try to return the value back now we have made use of copilot studio variable where city cps and we have hard coded the value over here to brisbane australia we can like take it as a dynamic input from user as well but just for the sake of demo i've just hard coded it and everything is sorted out now what we are going to do we are going to publish this bot once this is published uh let us give it a try to test it so the prompt is whether please so let me just click on test and see whether the changes are persisted or not and we will also monitor power automate from the back end so the moment the power automate runs we will see the flow run so let's test it by getting get me weather so once it is triggered so it will go into this flow and you will see a flow run now see the flow run has triggered it has succeeded as well and if you go over here it says the parameter with name where temp on flow evaluated to type number data type okay now again we have we are asking for a temperature value which is in numeric form okay but we are sending back as a string right so what we need to do is like we need to go and we need to edit this flow and says return value to power virtual agent now temperature the temperature value is uh we are expecting we have put a string value so what we can do we can just go and add an output or we can just put where number instead of this we will say where temp and we will select the dynamic value 
as temperature and then we can get rid of this particular variable okay so so this is the thing which you need to take care because if you do not match the data type correctly then you will not be able to get those value back okay now see we are just doing this change in power automate we are not touched copilot studio as of yet we will see what error it throws back okay now again i will just publish this dot now as we have made change in power automate sometimes it takes some time to get the changes reflected back in copilot studio linking and once that is done i think we should be good enough to go so get me weather again i will try put in a prompt so the parameter with name var temp on flow evaluated to type number data type expected type is string error code is flow bad error action so i think it has still not made those changes back so let me refresh the screen again And then now again test this flow get me weather now it has correctly given me the answer as temperature for brisbane australia is 19 so 19 degrees celsius now we can make the changes over here instead of brisbane i will type in sydney and i will test this application as well now again i told you that sometimes it takes a while for the changes to persist so if it has not updated then you just need to refresh your screen so let me put this prompt again get me weather now this time it should show me the temperature for sydney and says temperature for sydney australia is 15. so this is how you basically use variable passing from copilot studio to power automate now i have purposefully made that error of uh, returning data type now in the returning data type i've assumed that the variable which i'm returning is a string value but where temperature should be of type integer right and that's why we have made that correction in power automate so you just need to make change in at one place so that's power automate this is the logic whereby you will be passing out the output response now remember in the action component whereby we are calling the actual power automate we haven't set the data type then how it is picking as number so the beauty of copilot studio is that you need not specify the data type for the output variable it will automatically get that value from power automate so remember when we created a variable like say i'll just give you an example here i'll say variable management set a variable and i'll create a variable and i'll see if you see this variable it says data type is unknown now if i put a value of say girish okay then it has automatically assumed that this is a string and if i just put one two three then it will assume this value is a number so it is smart enough to understand the format of the data which you are inputting and that's the whole reason this particular output variable has identified from power automate that i'm going to get a number back and this is what you're going to display back in the message over here so that's it folks this is how you basically create a variable in copilot studio which is a dynamic value for your topic pass that value to power automate flow and then get the response back from power automate flow so this is a simple example whereby I have just used one input variable and I have used one output variable. But in reality, for your project, it might be as complex as uh, it can be 10 variables input and then you are returning back, say, five output variables. So so that that is a possibility. So so that's it. For, this is all about variable management within Copilot Studio. Thanks for watching.